In this video, we will run through the steps for setting up the EC01 EtherCAT Master Controller. Note that this will only cover the EtherCAT specific steps, and that you should first follow along the HiCon Basic Setup video linked in the description to cover the basic setup steps for your HiCon controller. First, I'm going to connect the EC01 to the EtherCAT drive. Connections between the PC controller and drive are all made with simple Ethernet cables. This provides for a quick and hassle free hardware installation process. Now that we've made the necessary connections, we can move on to the EtherCAT configuration. This is our EC Link EtherCAT configuration software, available for free from our website. The first thing we want to do is create a new project and save it on your PC. Now we need to import the ESI file for our drive. You can acquire this from your drive manufacturer's website. Next, you should right click on the left panel of EC Link and select Add Master Device. Then, right click on the device you added and select Add Slave Device. In the new pop up window, first select the vendor and then select the correct entry for your drive and click Add Slave. You should only use one slave to start with for testing purposes. Now, we can select the added slave to populate the PDO lists. We need to tick PDOs that have these values respectively. Since the second entry has the values that we need, I'm going to tick the checkbox. The same goes for this TX PDO. For some drives, there may not be a PDO with exactly what we need. In this case, you should right click a PDO like this one, select Edit, and then remove the objects you don't need. Once we've checked a proper RxPDO and TXPDO, we should switch to the Object Map tab and click Auto Select. Before moving on, we will confirm the four PDO mappings have been selected. Finally, switch to the SDO tab, scroll down to Index 6060 and click on SDO Editor. Enter a value of 8, then Save. Click on Connect Device, then Scan. Select the controller and click Connect Master. Download the project to the controller. The state in the upper left should transition from None to Operational. If the status does not transition to Operational, then you should refer to the manual for your drive to see if any further configuration is required. If the drive has gone Operational, then this concludes the configuration required in EasyLink. Open Mach 4 and navigate to the HiCon plugin window. Select the Motor 0 tab and set the control output to EtherCAT. And set the EtherCAT drive to the desired drive. Set the unused motor outputs to undefined. Make sure that your motors are enabled and properly mapped in the Mach 4 settings. You should now be able to freely enable and jog the motor. You can now proceed to add more drives to the configuration in EC Link and repeat the steps outlined in this video for each additional motor.